Hello my friends, it's Krebsy here and I've got some really cool stuff to show you guys. For anyone that is dying to find out more about what planes will be added in the future, well, it's kinda... Actually, there's a way where you can find out some of these planes that they're probably gonna be adding. Uh, because they actually are in the game right now. Uh, you cannot fly them, so to speak, like, you know, just the general sort of access them on the tech tree, but you can see them right now if you want to. And I have to give credit to where credit is due. Thank you, Borg, on the Reddit forums, th uh, Reddit discussion threads, whatever, for uh, coming up with this way to do it. But what it is, is essentially, when you go to the missions over here, and you go to the mission editor, you're going to be able to see a whole bunch of stuff like this. Now you have different scenarios, combat theaters, like for example if you go here, you can see a bunch of different combat theaters. And depending which one you go into, of course you'll have different factions and different planes you'll be able to access. So let's go to just the first one, Battle of Britain. Uh, we're on the Axis team right now, you can switch that between Axis or Allies, blah blah blah. You don't have to actually play the mode itself. But what happens is once you press apply... Okay, we're just doing a uh, free flight. That's uh, not the way to do it. Head to head combat. Let's go to that. You'll get a selection of planes here. Now, uh, what you do is you select your ally fighters or enemy fighters. And when you start scrolling through it, you might start noticing some different stuff. Especially like for the with the Germans, for example. Here we go. There's one of them. It's a hydroplane. HE-51 B-2 hydroplane. So a float plane. Interesting. Very nice to be seeing something totally different. You're probably already uh, boggled, uh, if anything. What? New planes in the game? Yes, there are some different planes. Uh, there's also a Hawk over here, which I imagine is going to be a, an American cap, <laughs> German captured American plane. Um, so that's interesting to see. Now. If you actually want to fly out these planes, you're going to have to select them as your ally fighters. Uh, you can't actually fly them yourself. You have to select that as like your ally fighters or enemy fighters, and then you can go see it. We're going to take a quick look at that in just a moment. But I want to show you what other planes are available. That's that for the Germans. For the Russians, I don't think that there is anything for them. At least from what I noticed. This is the quick list over here. However... For the Brits, there is something that I can show you. Um, let's go on to map with Brits. Malta, for example, is going to have Brits. If we go to apply and we go over here, let's scroll up a little bit and we go to the Gladiators. Hello! Normally, there's only this one Gladiator, the Gladiator Mark II. Well, there's also some variations of it, some variants. That's cool. Two uh, Gladiators that we don't currently have access to. So you can imagine that in the future, they're going to add those as a branch of the Gladiator 2, possibly to extend uh, the various planes and give people more planes to fly out with in lower tiers. But then again, it's not loads of planes. It's something, it's just not loads. For the Germans, I don't think they're actually... Yeah, the Germans, that, that was the only ones that we just seen. Uh, Japanese, do the Japs have anything? Let's go for Pelilu, Apply, and let's take a quick look here. I haven't had a good look at them. There's the F1M2, we don't have that. That looks interesting, look at that loadout. Is that a, is that a, 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 a hydroplane as well, or a float plane? That could be interesting, it's definitely a biplane, it's got those two sets of uh, wings. What other ones do you have? Let's take a look. Well, that's pretty much it. Interesting. Interesting stuff. And now I feel like there might be one faction that we've skipped over. The Americans. The Americans. Well, we can see them here. Do the Americans have anything? Quickly going through it. Da 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 da. Uh, pea shooters. Lots of pea shooters. I don't remember there being so many pea shooters. Is this one that. I don't think this one's currently going around. The P60, P26A34, at least not that I remember. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That goes to uh, show you what they have available. Did we take a look at the Russians? I don't think we did. Let's go on Ruhr. And there, that's not only it, though. There's a little bit more. What? Typhoons. Ah, no, 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 that's not Ruhr. I'm thinking of something else. Stalingrad. There we go. Let's go on Stalingrad. Apply. And for the Russians, 
We're gonna go through it. They have a lot of Era Cobras, King Cobras. I think those are all already in the game. And overall, yeah, I don't really take I notice anything with the uh, Russians so much. Got these I-16s, but I think you already have access to the Type 28, or at least I imagine so. If we go over to the Russians, I think it might be around, around here, yeah, 18. And also the premium one, yeah, so those are in. So there's a few planes that you don't already have access to, but it's not only that, those were the... Those were the fighters that we were taking a look at. You can also notice some bombers as well. Now, let's fiddle around with this a bit more. Go to missions, mission editor. And so, we have the various combat theaters, the teams, whatever. But you can also select different scenarios. And sometimes on the maps, they'll have ones, you know, defending from bombers. So if you apply that, you have this option for different bombers. And you'll notice, look at this. Wow. Okay, you got some different uh, models of planes. Like, you know how you have the BF-109 TROP? Well, you've got the SB-2M 100A Spanish. Okay, interesting, interesting. And man, I, 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 can't, I can't just pick out every single plane right here off the top of my head because I don't play bombers a, a ton. And there's so many of the same variants, or so many uh, slightly different variants of the same plane. Um, but there might be possible, you know, difference in yours. I'm not sure about this one. This one looks a little bit strange. And you can just do that with all the other factions. I just want to show you the rest of them because uh, the the other factions have, have similar sort of stuff going on. Like the uh, Americans, I believe. Let's go to actually the Battle of Britain. Defend against bombers. Wellington. Here we go. There's the DB7. Boston Mark 1. Yeah, you've got tons of different planes. So you guys can go check those out in the mission editor and see for yourself. Now, what I thought would be a little bit fun is if you want to get a very, very close look. Well, it's pretty simple to actually do that. If you just load out a plane, as you'd expect. So, say if we're going to be the Germans, which we are, our ally fighters, let's set them to the hydroplane. And the enemies will just make them something easy, so we're not going to be too afraid of. Oh dear. It's the Russians. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll be fine. Okay, and now let's set the count right on up to 16. Well, we'll set you down because we don't want too many uh, Russians. Actually, we'll make it a little bit higher just in case. And we'll simply go fly out into into one of these matches here. Start. And it just has a little ticker when you get down. And basically all my all my allies are gonna be uh, German German hydroplanes right now. Apart from maybe the uh, the guys that are directly my allies, you see that I had three people in my squad. I don't think they're gonna be the hydroplanes, but the rest of my team will be. So let's go on to Fokker Wolf here. Fast plane. And we'll go fly up next to one of these hydros so you, you guys can take a look. Oh man, this is perhaps not the best <laughs> of day settings. We'll go find our team here in a second. Yeah, you can see them. You can see them. We're just going to skip through this uh, cinematic. Let's go on the map. And they're behind me, actually. Okay, so we'll pull off to our side here. So we can get next to those hydro planes. But you can edit the... Map, map settings as well, so it doesn't have to be nighttime, so it could be daytime and there's no rain, blah blah blah. And here we go, look at those hydroplanes! Haha! <laughs> you can see those, those floaters right on the bottom of the plane. We'll shoot down one of our, one of them just for a bit of fun. Come here! Come here, I've got an instructor. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, hydroplane. I have to plan for the win. Maybe we can get even a bit closer. Let's take a look at them. Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello. Very nice planes you have there. Gaijin being so flirty. So credit where credit is due. Thank you, Borg, for uh, showing how to do this on the Reddit discussion page. Hope you guys enjoyed this. 
And do go check it out for yourself if you want to see possibly any other planes as well. From Krebs, and I'll catch you all later.